Hi friends, Antimicrobial World welcomes you. In this video, we are going to see about fungus. Fungi are eukaryotic heterotrophic organisms belonging to the kingdom fungi. Fungi are among the most widely distributed organisms on earth and are of great environmental and medical importance. Many fungi are free living in soil and water and some form parasitic or symbiotic relationships with plants or animals. Fungi had been recognized as causative agent of human disease earlier than bacteria. Fungus infections are extremely common and some of them are serious and even fatal. With the control of most bacterial infections, fungus infections have assumed greater importance. Most fungi are soil saprophytes and human infections are mainly opportunistic. Modern advances in treatment such as antibiotics, steroids and immunosuppressive agents have led to an increase in opportunistic fungus infections. Next, we are going to see some important terms related to fungi. Mycology is the branch of biology that deals with the study of fungi. A scientist specializing in mycology is called a mycologist. Next, we are going to see how fungi differ from other organisms. Fungi differ from bacteria and other prokaryotes in many ways. Fungi possess ridged cell walls containing chitin, mannan, or other polysaccharides. The cytoplasmic membrane contains steroids. Fungi possess true nuclei with nuclear membrane and pad chromosomes. Fungi divide asexually, sexually or by both processes. Fungi may be unicellular or multicellular. The cells show various degree of specialization. Next we are going to see what is a fungal spore. Spores are the main reproductive units of fungi. They may be produced asexually or by sexual reproduction. When a spore lands in a suitable location, it germinates and grows to form a new fungal individual. Next, we are going to see what is a hyphae. In most multicellular fungi, elongation of the cell produces a tubular thread-like structure called hypha. Next we are going to see what is a mycelium. A tangled mass of hyphae constitutes the mycelium. Fungi which form mycelia are called molds or filamentous fungi. Hyphae may be septate or non-septate. The septa when present have holes through which free flow of cytoplasmic materials can take place. In a growing colony of filamentous fungus, the mycelium can be divided into the vegetative mycelium which grows into the medium and the aerial mycelium which projects from the surface. Mycelium absorb nutrients from the environment. Some fungi are capable of causing superficial, cutaneous, subcutaneous, systemic or allergic diseases. Depending on cell morphology, fungi can be divided into four classes. Yeasts, yeast-like fungi, molds and dimorphic fungi. Let's see one by one. Yeasts. Yeasts are the simplest type of fungus. Yeasts are unicellular fungi which occur as spherical or ellipsoidal cells and reproduce by simple budding. On culture, they form 
smooth creamy colonies the only pathogenic yeast is cryptococcus neoformans yeasts are found almost everywhere including inside the body small amounts of certain type of yeast normally live on the skin and in some parts of the body such as the mouth throat and vagina yeast like fungi yeast like fungi grow partially as yeast and partially as elongated cells resembling ife the later form as pseudomycelium candida albicans is a pathogenic yeast like fungus molds of filamentous fungi form true mycelium reproduced by the formation of different types of spores dermatophytes are example of pathogenic molds next one is dimorphic fungi dimorphic fungi can occur as filamentous or as yeast depending on the condition of growth in host tissues or cultures at 37 degree celsius they occur as yeasts while in soil and in cultures at 22 degree celsius they appear as molds most fungi causing systemic infections are dimorphic fungi